Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown.online. I hope you're doing good. Uh, really happy to be with you guys today. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to add some punch to your drum sound. Um, now what I'm going to use to do so is something called an envelope shaper or a transient designer. Um, if you prefer. Uh, now, I am going to use stock plugins out of Cubase, uh, but if you don't use Cubase, no worries. There's a lot of other plugins you can use, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some uh, alternatives. Uh, first, we're going to work on our kick drum, then the snare drum. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very, very cool tool within Cubase to shape the entire drum bus. Let's get to it. All right, so let's uh, first listen to the uh, the drum take I have here. Okay, very simple. Right off the bat, the, the drum sounds pretty good. Um, now, what I want to do here is uh, I'm just going to look at my kick drum. Uh, basically, what I have here is uh, a kick in and a uh, outside uh, kick microphone that was used to um, uh, to record these drums. Um, so, if we listen to the uh, the mic that is inside the kick, okay, it's a it's a mic that gives us a lot of attack. Now the one that is outside the kick, which is an AKG 112, I believe. Okay, um, to be honest with you, it's okay. Don't like the sound of each um, individual tracks, but combined together, they sound pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I am gonna use uh, the uh, the Stangberg envelope shaper, okay, uh, which is a uh, which is gonna shape basically our attack and sustain of our sound. Um, so let's bring that up to. Uh, I'm just gonna reset all the settings here. So if you don't have any envelope shaper within your DAW, you can actually use uh, some other options here, like the Transient Master from Native Instruments, that is very very good and the uh, the one the spl um from uh, uad or uh, i think uh, plugin alliance has uh one of the same um similar to this one which is the spl transient designer okay very good as well uh but for today we are going to use the uh envelope shaper within cubase now i actually inserted the uh the envelope shaper on the kick bus okay which uh, my uh, my inside kick and outside kick um, is sent okay so they're both routed into that bus mono bus um, which is called kicks uh, and this is where i'm going to shape my uh, my kick drum i'm just going to add a bit of attack and you can feel it I can play with the release if I wanted a bit more punch here and more dead, I guess. I'm just going to reduce the release time. Okay, without and with. Okay, let's listen to uh, the kick drum in solo. Okay, so this is what it sounds like by itself. So I'm going to bring my release way up just for you to uh, to hear the difference. Okay. So if I want a bit more punch here, I'm just going to reduce the release. And I'm going to add a bit of length just to smooth uh, the sound. So if I bring my length way to the bottom, Okay, it, it, it cuts the uh, the transient too much. So I'm just gonna bring that up. I'm just gonna bring my output down a bit just to match the uh, volume difference. Sounds way more punchier, okay? With the drums, um, with the entire drum kit. If I remove it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So this is on the kick drum. Now let's try this out uh, directly on uh, on the snare. Okay, so um, what's cool about Cubase is we have a channel strip. 
okay, uh, which includes the um, uh, the same version of the plugin, but within the channel strip. Um, so it's right here. So I have my envelope shaper. I can actually open my uh, channel settings and um, click on the channel strip tab, um, and I'll have the uh, envelope shaper uh, right in front of me. So it's going to be easier to uh, to actually work the settings out. So um, I am going to bring this down to zero. All right. Okay, so now let's add a bit of attack. If I add some release, I'm gonna get more of a roomy sound, okay? It's gonna bring my output down a bit. And I'm gonna bring down the release just to show you the difference. without there you go way more punchy again okay so this is pretty cool um, now you can use the plugin as an insert or you can uh, use it within the channel strip uh, which is pretty cool so it's the same thing same plugin um, so now this is what we get if we work on the snare and we work on the kick drum. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in an envelope shaper or transient designer. Uh, for example, uh, my good buddy uh, Pete Woj uh, from Mix Better Now uh, actually used that on his uh, on his overhead mics. Um, so to 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 kind of enhance the uh, the release, so you can get that kind of a uh, of a room sound. So do, go check his channel. His channel is very cool. A lot of good infos. Um, he runs. A, um, a channel similar to, to mine uh, works with Pro Tools and the Studio One. So um, if you guys are using these DAW, uh, go check his uh, his channel. Even if you're using Cubase, there's a lot of very very good info on his channel. So makes better. Now I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Um, so actually, you know what? Since my buddy Pete was wearing a toque in his last two videos, I'm gonna do the same, just for you, Pete. Um, and I'm in Montreal, so it's pretty cold here. So there's a very good reason for me to do so. So Pete, this is for you, man. All right, so let's continue. Now, um, I am gonna use the, uh, that really special tool uh, that I was telling you about earlier on the, uh, on the drum bus, okay? So this is actually a, a multi-band uh, envelope shaper, okay, within Cubase. So this is part of the, uh, I think it's been part of Cubase since version eight, okay? So multi-band uh, multi envelope shaper, uh, which is very, very cool. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna uh, deactivate the, uh, uh, the envelope shaper we had on the, uh, on the kick and the snare. Um, and I'm gonna work the, uh, the drum sound with this um, uh, multi-band envelope shaper. So basically what this is gonna do is, um, it's gonna do the same thing as the uh, the regular envelope shaper we used before, but it's gonna do that uh, directly on uh, specific bands, okay? Um, and we're first gonna work on the, uh, the lower end of the sound. It's gonna add a bit of attack. I'm gonna bring the release down here, okay? Okay, so if I just bypass that, way more tight, okay? Way more punchier, way more tight. So basically it actually removed uh, the sustain out of that lower end zone, okay? If I bring it out, you can hear that sustain coming back and it's back on. Now I can play with that, I can bring that lower or add some sustain. So now, just by doing that, just by working on this first um, series of frequencies, just that actually, I, I think it actually helped the entire drum sound. So um, if you don't want to um, mix your individual tracks right away, uh, you, this is something you can actually do uh, directly on the drum bus um, as a first step into your mix process. So now let's add a bit of attack to the second region here. Just gonna tie that up. If 
I bypass it. And back on. That's pretty cool. So there you go. So this is something you can actually do uh, on your drum bus. Um, I love this tool. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with uh, this type of tool. So now um, I think I have one last thing to show you. Um, I am going to try this on a drum loop. Okay. All right. So now let's go and open our plugin and work with the attack time. Again, I'm going to work on the low end of the, uh, the loop sound here. Let me fix that up. There we go. So this is what it sounded like before I added the uh, envelope shaper. Okay, so now you can, you can hear that there is less sustain in the lower end of uh, the sound. I can do the same with the other, uh, the other bands here. Okay, so this is without, and this is with. So you can actually take a roomy drum loop and uh, reduce the amount of sustain. Um, that was uh, that was on the sound. So this is pretty cool. So this is stuff you can do with a uh, multi-band envelope shaper. All right, guys. So this is it for today. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, so please leave them below. And you can also visit my website at mixdown.online or just click on the square right here. Uh, that will uh, bring you directly on the website. And don't forget to subscribe. And to do so, just click on the subscribe circle uh, right here. Okay. Um, here, here, I think it's, I'm going to put it here. All right. So I wish you guys a nice week and I'll see you next time.